everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Catholicism didn't reach the distant shores of Japan until 1549 when the Jesuit priest St. Francis Xavier made inroads into the island nation. Eventually, hundreds of thousands of Japanese found Christ through the efforts of the Jesuit missionaries. One of these converts was a young man by the name of Paul Miki. Born into a wealthy Japanese family in 1562, Paul was educated by the Jesuits and eventually became a brother of the Jesuit order and had plans for being ordained a priest. He was well known for his powerful preaching that converted many people to Catholicism. However, tensions began to arise in 1587 between the Buddhists and the Christians. So the leader of Japan, Hideyoshi, issued an anti-Christian edict which resulted in the destruction of churches. This forced many missionaries and converts to practice the faith in secret. Unfortunately, suspicion surrounding the foreign missionaries was only worsened when Spanish Franciscans arrived in Japan, unaware of the religious tensions, and started taking a more aggressive approach to proselytizing. Hideyoshi became fearful that the Christians had secret intentions of taking over the government a fear which seemed validated when a Spanish ship was seized off the coast of Japan carrying artillery in 1597. In response, the Japanese leader ordered the execution of 26 Catholics. Among them were six Franciscan missionaries, 17 Japanese and Korean lay Franciscans, three of whom were only boys, and three Jesuits, one of whom was Paul Miki, only months away from being ordained a priest. All of them were arrested, publicly tortured, and forced to march for 600 miles from Miyako to Nagasaki. The journey took them nearly 30 days, during which they were paraded through each town and mocked in an effort to dissuade others from converting to Christianity. But these courageous men encouraged each other through singing spiritual hymns of praise and preached to the people along the way. When they reached Nagasaki, which was the center for Christianity in Japan at the time, they were mercifully permitted to go to confession before their execution. Then they were each bound to a cross upon the hill now known as the Holy Mountain, overlooking the city. Each man expressed their love for Christ even as they were being martyred. Paul Miki gave his last sermon to those who were gathered to witness their execution, proclaiming the only reason for me being killed is that I have taught the doctrine of Christ. I thank God it is for this reason that I die. I believe that I am telling the truth before I die. After Christ's example, I forgive my persecutors. I do not hate them. I ask God to have pity on all, and I hope my blood will fall on my fellow men as a fruitful rain. Each martyr was then pierced with a lance while chained to their cross, and in this way entered the heavenly kingdom. It would be over two centuries before Christian missionaries were allowed back into Japan. When they did arrive, they found that the faith had been preserved by those who had escaped persecution. The beautiful example of faith these martyrs give to us is nothing short of miraculous. I pray that we all come to such confidence in Christ that we too can pray for the salvation of those who persecute us with love and genuine faith. St. Paul, Miki, and companions, pray for us.